Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. And today we're gonna go on Operation Damned Cobra with our female soldiers. Uh, we're gonna attract some advanced supplies, a free supply rate we got from scanning with the Avenger, and uh, we're gonna be taking a lot of Valkyries that can actually still gain their final promotion. So we have Hilda, Marina, Jacqueline, Christina, Emily and Sarah on this mission. So everybody's set up. Here we go. Dropping down in another set of ruins, this time the ruins of Chihuahua. Yeah, that's exactly what I said it is. It is these are the ruins of Chihuahua. So we're going to be dealing with Lost and we're basically dealing with another Advent supply pickup mission. We're in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. There we go, so we need to locate the chests, the supply crates, mark them as them being ours, and then get the hell out of here. Of course we need to neutralize all enemy targets as well, so the cleaner we can get through all of these buildings, the better. Uh, Advent and Lost are supposedly gonna work against each other, I would hope this time, but uh, I guess we'll see about that moving up. Okay, two turns further and we uh, barely can see a bunch of uh, codexes, I think it was. There's at least one codex in there and a, probably a spectre because these guys seem to be uh, cooperating lately. Um, we're right at the side of the map here, so this is the edge of the map. Spreading out behind the first supply drop and this seems to be quite a big area. Uh, we're slowly heading towards the first supply drop, but otherwise things seem to be uneventful. So there we go, second turn done. Yeah, indeed, three codexes. Kind of missed that the first time we spotted that group, but uh, three codexes in one batch. That's going to be interesting. Because I know there's mostly robotic enemies in this uh, on this level, aside from the Lost, of course, which is why I took two specialists. And at least one person is equipped with the blue screen rounds as well. So we should be able to handle this. But still, codexes can split up, so if we can take them by surprise, all the better. They're moving towards that crate as well, which is probably their objective at the moment too. Um, so we'll slowly have to make our way closer as well and uh, prepare an ambush. Oh no, okay, the codexes are moving back. This is interesting. Damn it, I was hoping they were gonna stay over there on the left. I hear a mechanical unit. Okay, that's the Andromedon. Andromedon, Shield Bear, and Purifier. I didn't bring Elena with us. So we won't be able to mark them further if they move away again. I don't know what the, the tiredness bar of Emily is doing, but uh, the Lost seem to be staying put as well. I spotted one Lost on the right there. But that is basically it. We could... Hmm, so we still see one of the codexes. Probably through um, Sarah over here. No, not Sarah. Who sees that one codex then? Ah, oh, weirdly it's Marina who still has sight on the codexes. That is interesting. I'm gonna have to move and I think this is a pretty good shot for the Shredstorm cannon. So if I can move Marina out of the way. Because I don't think Emily can see the codexes. Ooh, and we spot more loss. That's not exactly a problem, but double check if I can't see the codex anymore. No. Okay, so that means that I can use the Shredstorm cannon now. And that can hit all three of them, probably. There we go. We can hit a lot of stuff along the way as well. Taking out a bit of cover, but not everything. Well, most of it at least. Here we go. This will cause damage to a friendly object. Oh. Wait a second. Ah, okay, so the game is telling me that there is a supply crate in the back there somewhere that I can't see yet. So if I do this... Oh, now she accepted it. I'm calling the game a her as well now. She's interesting. I think I hit something way in the back now. I saw a number pop up at the top of the screen as well. But that took out most of the purifier and shield bear health and half of the Andromedon's health, so that is fine. They're gonna move closer, but that is okay. Those lost are gonna try and do something too. And I'm gonna try and keep the amount of explosives to a minimum, of course. 
Although, of course, the, uh, the purifiers are gonna start wreaking havoc. Um, there is one unit that I can't see. It is the purifier, sadly. I could go for face-off, but I think face-off will end my turn. Let's keep Christina for last. She can probably finish off quite a few people here. So let's move up with Hilda. Oh no, I forgot. Yeah, okay. I forgot that uh, she's now going to spot the Codex, of course. Okay, this is going to make things a bit more difficult. Because those Codexes are going to fly all over the place. Okay, I do have a plan for that. It's not the best plan, but at least we have a plan for that. Um, EMP bombs. EMP bombs. If I use an EMP bomb, how big is that? That's actually pretty big. Can I hit all of them? I don't think I'll be able to, no. Because uh, I'm not even hitting the, the one over here now. I could probably hit these two. It does 12 damage, which means that it would take out those two codexes. And that's exactly what I'm going to have to go for now. Uh, maybe if I, I can pull back with... Yeah, I'm going to pull back with Jacqueline just a little bit. So she can actually now use the EMP bomb from a, well, a better position than before. That's going to be 12 damage, so that's 3, 3. That should kill. That should kill, unless I've miscalculated here, but 12. The game says 12. They have 12 health. There we go. Double kill. Okay, so that does count on as, as an explosive though, which is too bad. Um, if I can draw that Lost Swarm actually towards me, that would be really good. The problem is I can hear something really big in the background. I'm going to have to start shooting at some of the Lost as well. So 98, that's pretty much a, a guarantee. So let's try that first. There we go. That's one. Then uh, another 98 on the one in the back there. That's another kill. And we get another point, which is really good. Um, that's not going to kill that. The Elite Shield Barrier is pretty well dug in. And I have a better shot on him. So I think I should go with another headshot. Unless I can do Combat Protocol. Ooh, I can. No, wait. Ah. I can hit the Elite Purifier with that combat protocol if I want to. But let's put Sarah over here. So she's out of sight of that Codex at least. And she gets a few shots at a few... Ooh, she can even shoot at the Codex from here, which is interesting. But uh, she can actually fire at the Lost as well. So let's cancel, go back to Hilde. And let Hilde fire the first shot on the Lost Brute. She has the most ammo in her clip, so that's 100%. 7 damage, which is not a lot, but at least it's something. 7 to 9, so this could kill, but it's not guaranteed. We need at least 8 damage, but on a 100% shot, that's 50-50. Ooh, wow. I was going to say it's 66 even, instead of 50-50. Uh, but let's start with a lightning hand shot. What's the thing I can blow up? Ooh. I am going to do that, because that's going to trigger another Lost Swarm. I'm going to get one from killing the Purifier anyway. So if I Lightning Hands that explosive... So you can hear the Lost screaming already. I kill... There we go. Lost Swarm appears. That's exactly what I wanted to. Because now I... Ooh. That was a promotion for Christina. Ooh, wow. Jesus. That's not going to be good for the frame rate. Yeah, there we go. Are these guys going to attack as well? No, not just yet. But I do get free pistol shots. I do get free pistol shots. And 3 to 6 damage is not bad. But these guys all have high health. Uh, except for that one brute. So let's do that first. Headshot with the pistol. There we go. That was only 3 damage. So I do really need to be careful. I actually have a 97% shot on the shield bear as well, but since I got that shot, I think I'm just gonna try and kill one of the other dashes with my normal shots. Or we can go all the way 
with guessing how this is gonna go and just go and kill damage one of the lost dashes like this with a pistol there we go that's five damage we knew that wasn't gonna kill but now i can use a remaining shot to use face off on what seems to be eight aliens at the moment there we go one that's not a kill that was never gonna be a kill that is a kill that's another kill that was a critical that's another kill as well that's that is a kill that is another kill <laughs> Look at her go! She just keeps going. That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit closer with Emily. I don't want to get too close, but with Emily I might be able to kill off most of the remaining lost. So if I do that, I get untouchable, which should shield us from the... Uh... Oh crap. More lost. Which should shield us from the uh, Andromedon. Well, at least we're getting, we're getting the lost out on the field. And we got a promotion for Emily there as well, which is good. And as long as we keep killing, I'm going to be really, really happy. Um, the shot on the Andromedon is so bad that I'm not even going to bother. Ooh, and that was just a miss. Okay, so that means that we're out of actions for Emily. And we're out of everything. Advent has already marked a couple of crates for extraction. If we move quickly, we may be able to mark them for ourselves and prevent their airlift. So the Codex is going to be the most annoying problem as we thought. So is he going to disable our weapons? Yeah. That's not that much of a problem. Is Christina? Yeah, Christina is marked by that, but her pistol doesn't need to reload. So, ooh, god. That's going to... Is that going to be... Boy, is he gonna acid? Yeah, he's gonna acid. Okay, here we go. That's two people acid burn, but Hilda is immune because of her... Uh, I think I gave her the extra armor. That's fine. That's fine. That could have been a lot more, a lot worse. Oh, there we go. That's a mech we actually hit. A mech and a lancer. And the mech goes to Overwatch immediately. Okay. And now the Lost are going to swarm in. I hope most of them go for Emily. Because of course with uh, the Blade Storm, we're going to just be able to catch that really quickly. So we got an Overwatch shot from the mech, which is really good. Because he loses his Overwatch and he kills one as, as well. Which is, thank you mech. That was really nice of you. So there we go. They move one further, but they don't manage to kill anybody. Okay. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. That could have been a lot worse, but the Andromedon didn't really uh, didn't really scare us all that much. So that means I think first things first, we should move um, Christina to the side here. I don't know how much of this this area it's going to take out, so I'm just going to move Christina to over here. There we go. That gets her still a shot on. I could have... Ooh, I can still do fanfire. I could do that on the Andromedon, but I'm going to do that on his second form. Because um, I think... Emily actually has this from over here. She could use a reload first. I don't know how big the explosion is on... Well, the acid explosion is on an Andromedon. Should probably move her back. Uh, to somewhere like over here. The Overwatch is gone anyway. So Emily goes over here behind cover. And then she can fire away at everything else she wants to kill. First things first, the Andromedon. Flammo! So that's the first shot. He's gonna wake up again. Uh, and now I'm actually not certain who has the blue screen rounds. It's not Hilde. Uh, I need to... Yeah, Sarah needs to get out of here. I'm gonna move Sarah all the way to the back here. So she definitely still has sight on the codex in the back. Because um, if I can do a combat protocol on that codex, he's probably gonna be half dead. 
Although I'm not exactly sure if that's going to take away his ability to split up. Let's give that a rest for a second and heal up m myself first, because that's going to be a priority here. They these are guaranteed kills, though, so I can deplete Marina's weapon until there's nobody left anymore. I should probably check if she has the blue screen rounds. She, she can't see the Adromedon from here, apparently. So let's just kill some Lost with her, with her uh, minigun. Ah, oh, she does. There we go. That's nine. Does she actually have an auto loaded? I'm not a... So she reloaded there. I don't know if she's going to be blue or yellow now. Yellow. Okay. So that means that I'm going to use her flashbang on the codex. Ah, crap. I should have moved her. Yeah. Um, flashbangs only work with line of sight. And since the Codex does no longer have line of sight, it doesn't really matter anymore. Okay, um, then what I can do is probably kill... Oh no, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna have to do Fanfire on the uh, Andromedon, because Christina has the blue screen around. So Fanfire is gonna kill that Andromedon. And there it goes. All the way down. No need to worry about that anymore. Then Hilda. Hilda can move back and also use combat protocol. What else do we have left? We have that Lancer. Lancers are notoriously fast. So I do need to be careful with that Lancer. But I could use the flashbang on the Lancer because that would disorient him and not make him able to, well, harm us anymore. First things first, the Codex. Um, the Codex, we're going to deal with Hilda over here. So if you move Hilda to the back, if you say so. like this, she's still immune. We could probably combat protocol. Okay, she also lost sight on the Codex, which means that we have no other uh, option here than to just... Blow away the cover of the Codex. So 84% chance to do this. Let's do it. Come on. There we go. That takes away the entire bit of cover that the Codex was standing behind. Which means that now we actually have an extra option. So I could... Oh, I still can't. <laughs> I still can't see her. Okay. I still can't see the Codex over there. Which is annoying because I only have two more people left. Um, I will not be able to grab those uh, supplies, which I've, 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 I've laid my head down about that. But acid bomb, acid bomb on the. No, I'm gonna flash them. I'm gonna flash both the Lancer and am I though? You know, Emily is actually closest. So if he goes for Emily, he's gonna get Blade Storm. So I think the acid bomb on top of his ass right now. It's probably the best action. Christina's out of the way of the psionic bomb, Hilda as well, so there we go. Acid bomb, I don't know if that actually also counts as an explosive. Towards the uh, the Lost themselves. So the Lost actually took more damage, but he only had three. Yeah, okay. That also triggers Lost, which is annoying, but nothing I can do about that and i think if i combat protocol the lancer now he's going to be dead out of the way there we go now there's a lot of people with their backs towards that codex so i'm really worried about that but can't really do anything else about that the lancer is going to die from the acid burn and other than that i'm going to have to spread around a few people because uh, yeah those crates are going to be gone they're going to be picking those up but it's only two, and we killed quite a lot of people already. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. And there we go. The Lancer drops dead on the floor, and the Codex... I don't know what the Codex is gonna do. He's probably gonna shoot. And there goes another crate. Yeah, yeah, we get it. We get that we lost that one. Fair enough. So Codex teleports away, and now he's in a prime position to shoot at somebody. 
That's gonna hurt. Ooh, okay, but codexes don't do a lot of damage, so five damage is all it can do. But now it's in a prime position to get double combat protocol, so I'm not that worried. That mech is also in an annoying position, but he missed. Okay. Incoming fire. Okay. Will swarm appears. Was to be expected with those uh, those explosions going around, so I need to avoid any more explosions because otherwise my fr oh, damn. That is that is just a little bit too much, isn't it? So now the lost have spawned and get a turn. So can they all move around now? Because that's going to be interesting. This guy is coming closer. Okay. Again, a lot of lost, but uh, nothing is lost just yet. Um, so let's start by just taking a look what Emily can do. I think Emily is in a prime position to just get the loot and then start shooting. Uh, she's not going to be able to reload. Because I'm going to move her to grab the loot at least. Because I want those Elysium cores if there's any in there. No, advanced scope, but I can use that as well. And a data pad. Why am I on cargo duty? Okay. So first shot we're going to take is going to be on that mech. And that's of course a bad idea. Because now I can't shoot anything else. Okay, fair enough. Kind of made a mistake there. I did see that, but I kind of made the mistake. But she's running out of ammo anyway. So uh, not that much of a problem. Ladies, 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 can you start combat protocoling that thing? Because I don't want to spend any more uh, explosives on these, uh, on that codex. So let's just move. I don't actually need to move Hilda anywhere, right? I can move it a little bit closer. What's over there? Just to keep it out of the way of everything else. Um, and then I can combat protocol the codex. It could disorient her as well, the codex, I mean. Um, but otherwise, she's going to make a copy. And we got six damage, but nothing else. Okay. And now we got a clone. Okay. But that's that's perfectly doable. So we can just um, combat protocol the original one. So that's going to be a guaranteed three damage. Wait, can I reload with Sarah? I can. So let's do that first. Use our action sparingly. And then combat protocol the codex. Which is going to kill that codex. And then I can move Jacqueline around to... Well, to start killing that other codex. Because Jacqueline is going to be in a better position um, over here. It's going to be a flanking position. So I can just shoot it in the face. 100%. No problem whatsoever. It's gone. Might have been a little bit of overkill, but uh, we got a brain to pick up now. Okay. That means that we have three more people available to kill like a whole bunch of other zombies. The first thing I'm going to do is reload Christina. Uh, so she gets her sniper rifle back just in case we need it. Um, and then we can pistol shoot. Is there one that we can kill in one go? We could possibly kill this one in one go. And we don't. Okay, so that means that that one is now severely wounded. But other than that, this doesn't look good. 94%, um, but it has 9 health. So I can take out... You know what? I can take out at least this guy. Uh, I should probably focus on the ones that I'm gonna guarantee... Kill guaranteed. I'm not exactly sure. Does she have the ability? Um, no. Because I know Grenadiers eventually get the ability to shoot twice. But that doesn't seem to be the case with Marina just yet. So let's just keep firing away at everything we can. As long as we kill, that's good. As long as we kill, that's now? really good. Well, a lot. Oh, crap. I pr probably... Does that say 8 or 9? That's 8. Okay. Okay, you need to be careful because some of these have 9 health and that's higher than the minimum that she can dish out. There we go, Marina reloads and that allows her to keep shooting. Keep shooting some more. 85 on that one. We're gonna lose these 
at a certain point, but uh, not just yet. Not just yet, at least. Um, and I think I'm gonna try and fire at the Brute now. Although 84 is also good. Now, I'm gonna try and kill the, the Dasher here, the big Dasher. If I get 9, no, 8. Okay. Okay, that might be the one that gets away. And there we go, Advent is marking more supplies. I'm not gonna grab that one. If we want our share, we'll have to move just as fast. That is too far for me there. And I think there's still a sector pulled on the field. So the Lost are moving in. Yep, there they are. So for now, we only lost two crates, which is not that bad. Um, and we're also going to try and get closer, but I think Emily will probably take out most of them. And, I mean, we got our... Uh, there we go, that's one. We got our promotions already, which is really, really good. I think we got, we're got we at two or even three promotions already. So there we go, that's another one that's going to go down. There we go. I don't know how many of these she's going to grab, because I don't know why those other two guys just passed her. They're probably not interested. Okay. Okay, if that's the only problem we're going to face, that's really, really good. We need to pull forward now with uh, our, well, I think Jacqueline, Hilda and Sarah are way too far in the back. Um, and I want to try with Emily if we can get over here. So I'm going to trigger running gun. This is really, really dangerous, but uh, I'm going to trigger running gun to try and grab this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's the sector bolt. So we're gonna trigger the sector bolt. There we go. The sector bolt and double lancer. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, but we do get we do get the supplies. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. That is really good. That's the first thing we needed to get, those supplies. Now, there's a lot of our people very, very far away, which is not so good. But we have a few options. It might not seem like we have, but we have a few options. So, let's move Marina up. Because she has the flashbang. The flashbang is going to be instrumental to our survival here. So let's move her up. I know that's another explosive, but uh, it's going to be instrumental. So, 100% we're going to make her use her final her final shot here. That's going to be a guaranteed kill. Just taking out a few more of the lost. And then we're going to have to be really, really careful now. So, I don't think I, don't think I have a free reload, no. So, I'm going to use the flashbang all the way in the back there. I can't hit either of those lancers. That's going to be problematic. Okay. Um, the problem also is that right now, Emily does not have Untouchable. She hasn't killed anything yet, so she does not have Untouchable. So, what are we going to do? We're going to use the grappling hook to actually get her out of the range of the uh, Lancer. So I think there was there was a container that was flying around here. There we go, can't I go up here? Oh god. But can't say no to height advantage either way, so let's just put her up there on the containers. That's gonna be the very, the very high ground. There we go, that gives her a nice overview shot and a flanking shot on that Lancer down there. If we crit, which is very, very likely, we're going to kill that Lancer and gain Untouchable. There we go. And there we go. That's what I was hoping for. If that one Lancer comes close, he's even going to get Blade Storms if he wants to go for her. And that means we're going to be able to use our Untouchable for the Sectopold. Now, what else do we have? We can actually move Jacqueline a little bit closer, but not much. Although I think she has the free reloads, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed she does, which means that we can pull her even closer. Now, Marina is out completely. She doesn't have the free reloads. 
So what I'm gonna do is see what shots I can get with um, Christina, because Christina has the blue screen rounds. Right now, the Sectopult is... Yeah, you know what? He's still armored up pretty nicely, but with the blue screen rounds, I'm still gonna do 10 damage. I'm not gonna crit, but it's gonna be a nice bit of damage either way. Do I need to pistol anything else before we go? Um, that's a guaranteed pistol hit, so... Might as well. There we go. I'm not gonna risk it on the other guy. He has four health, so I might not be able to kill him there. So let's fire the sniper rifle at the sector bolt from all the way over here. Clean shot, 94% chance. Straight into his mechanical face. Eight damage and the hack defense was decreased. So if we can do that one more time, we might even be able to hack him. Now, still not done. We still have a few Valkyries in the bag. Let's use Hilde. Move her up. She's okay. immune for acid, so even if that acid on that spot would hit her, that's not going to be a problem. The Lost is going to go down, so might as well take him out while we go. Check it before you get too close. And that's another promotion. There we go. Hilde got a promotion. And then we can even... Ooh. Oh, we can try that from over here. That would be even more ideal, because that removes all the risk that I thought we were going to take. But first things first, Sarah over here, because Sarah, I think, has the highest hack stat of the two. So she does have a shot on those two lost, so we might as well take them out, because she can't miss these. He says, and then she I might miss, it. but because uh, this one is 99, so we can still miss this. We have backup, we have backup, so nothing's going wrong. There we go, that's really, really clean. Really, really clean. Okay, combat protocol on the sector pot would do a lot of damage. Um, but we're not gonna do it. We're gonna haywire protocol. Haywire protocol on the sector pot. Let's see what we can do. So we're 30 points above the sector pot, um, which means that I, I can definitely stun him. But taking control is not gonna help. Um, so shut down. Here we go. Okay, shot done worked, and I think we might have just gotten the control as well, if you we would have. But uh, shut down is what we went for, and shut down is what we're going to get. So even if the Lancer goes for Emily, he's going to be dead. Um, so that's good. We're going to lose one crate, though, which is, uh, yeah, a little bit sad, but it's the, uh, the best option that we could have gotten, I think. We got one of the crates, the other one is just too far away. It's on the, on the side here. Uh, we can't reach it from here, so... I'm gonna put Hild a little bit closer. Okay. Uh, there should be nobody else, so this should be fine as well. The Lancer will not know where we are. And there goes our third crate. But you know what? Nine crates is good. Nine crates is perfect, so... That Lancer. Oh, it's a trooper. But we have Untouchable, so it doesn't really matter. There we go, Untouchable. That's not a problem. And then the Lost, I don't know what the Lost are going to do. Do the Lost actually, because we haven't seen them attack Advent at the slightest, but it looks. So they saw us and then. There he goes. Doesn't seem like, I, he seems to be going for us. And there's three more. Because that's two of them. They're splitting around. Okay, is he going to actually try and hit the... Uh, no. He's not gonna try and hit the sector bolt. The problem is that the sector bolt also explodes if he dies. <laughs> so that's gonna lure in more um Fire more loss. On deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace 1 5. There we go. Put a little balloon. And I wanna try and actually get rid of the armor of the the sector bolt now. So we can reload Emily, and Emily can go on a rampage now. Because I'm going to take care of all those lost first before we uh, take another shot at the sector pulled. One, two, three, four. And then five is going to be on the sector pulled because the sector pulled actually... Um, well, we actually do shredding with Emily because that's been one of her extra abilities we got her to train in the guerrilla tactics school. So there we go. Three more points of shredding on the sector pulled. And we don't get a free action, which is fine. Okay, next up, we're going to have to move closer to see if we can do a little bit more shredding. We can't go too close, though, because I think that thing hasn't yet exploded. 
Um, which means that I'm going to put Marina over here. Tired of waiting out. She might not get a shot here. No. Okay. Um, I'm going to just move her closer. Then, we have another sniper rifle shot at the sectopod, but it's not going to do all that much. Uh, let's move Hilda over here on the side and grab that supply crate. There we go, that's ours now. Um, and now we can go... You know what, we're going to heal uh, me. There we go. Let's heal me. Healing me is always fun. Uh, then we can go with Sarah over here. Because I want to use her remaining combat protocol on the Sectopult. And I think combine that with the sniper rifle shot from Christina. And the Sectopult is going to die. There we go. And then if we move to Christina, get her the sniper rifle shot she desperately needs. There we go, that's going to be a guaranteed kill. One, two, three, Christina gets the sector pulled in the bag. Oh, that's going to... Yeah, okay, that's another, another Lost Swarm, no? It draws it closer, but it doesn't seem like it has triggered just yet. So there's one more trooper alive. Uh, which is going to be fine by me. I don't know if that trooper wants to go up, actually. Okay, so that's... There was still a supply crate over there. And that one I can grab as well. So that's totally not a problem. And that trooper is going to have to die eventually. Ah, uh, we still have a touchable, buddy. There we go. And we can actually grab that crate. And there we go. Lost Swarm is very close. We get our... What's probably going to be our final Lost Swarm. There's one coming up there. Yeah, he's going to have a bad time. There we go. Slash... I want to see Emily's kill count after this. How many is that now? Yeah, indeed, I've I've lost count. Okay, Sky Ranger gets another supply crate, and we get another lost swarm because the truck blew up. There we go. Where did that spawn? Right next to one of the supply crates, apparently. But that should be the last swarm because I'm not going to use any more explosives. Oh God. Oh, Nelly Gold. We get another Blade Storm there. <laughs> ah, Emily's on here on her ivory tower. Just killing everything that comes close. No, indeed. They can't. Okay. We're gonna move Emily down. So we can grab that... Um, that crate over there. Um, so let's just mark that as something that belongs to us. There we go. And now we have two more shots. I can go for... Hmm. This lost first? Yeah, why not? It doesn't really matter. A blammo. And now we can kill the trooper as well. So let's fire at his ass. He's not going to die from a normal shot, but 95% for a crit. There we go. Dead and gone. Well... Nope, nobody. I, I think. I hope the game is. I hope the game is is, is keeping score because this has been amazing so far. Um, we're actually a bit too far away from that one crate, which is interesting. Um, even Marina, no, Marina can't get there. Christina can't get there. Maybe Sarah can get there. I want to try if I get that chance to actually mark this crate. We have plenty of people to start shooting. So if we move Sarah over here, do we still get the... Yeah, we get the opportunity to mark the supplies as ours. Okay, that's good. And now let's start killing some lost. And then I'm going to put it on Overwatch for good measure as well. There we go. Then we can put uh, Marina over here. Which gives her a better position on the remaining lost. I can see one more lost over here and one more over there. I think that one is going to be hard to hit for anybody. So let's just fire at that one. And we get a miss. Wow, an 84% miss. It's gonna, it was bound to happen eventually. Um, I can actually put Hilda over here as well and let her give a, let her try a shot. 
and she can only see the one up there. Gets a hit in anyway, and now we can put it on Overwatch with her remaining shots. And we have three mode over here, which can die one in a row. So that one guy is gonna stay alive. That's probably the only guy that's still alive on the entire map. So if I now reload, because I can't really spend my action on uh, anybody else here. I think she's bonded to Christina. Um, but yeah, she's that guy's gonna either get hit by a blade storm, which I think is gonna be, or or Hilda's Overwatch shot. That's seven damage. I don't. Is that a kill? No, it's not. We're gonna have to fire one more time, just to kill that last lost. I do love that people lose their uh, their cover like that. <laughs> yes, no, my cover. The supply grade goes away and I lose my cover. Please don't take it away from me. So I'm gonna try if I can give Jacqueline the final shot. Because Jacqueline is the only one who didn't get a promotion in this match. So 87% chance to get her final kill. And there we go, she does get the kill, but I don't know if that gives her a promotion or not. No, a free action, but that's basically it. 55 enemies. 55 freaking enemies. So the stats on that, that mission were insane. So we had five enemies killed per turn on average, which was just amazing. Exactly what type of exposure led to the creation of these lost civilians? But their numbers would indicate a widespread effect. Yeah, obviously, Tygen. I mean, we don't need you for something like that. But what's more important, three promotions. So uh, Hilda got one. And she's gonna go into, uh, I think, Gar... Evervigilant. Evervigilant is the, the cooler one, the better one. So let's go with Evervigilant. Then we get Marina up to Captain, which is gonna give her Salvo or... No, up to, up to Major, yeah, also. Uh, Salvo or Hail of Bullets. So a launching throwing grenades or using heavy weapons with your first action will not end your turn. Or a guaranteed hit with your cannon, which is also very, very nice. But I think I'm going to go for Salvo either way. Two attacks is better than one guaranteed attack, in my mind at least. And then we get Emily, Emily up to uh, Colonel, which has been really, really quickly. She has so many kills that she got up here really, really quickly. So she can get either Reaper or a Rapid Fire. Uh, I think in her case, we should go for Reaper. Um... Although Rapid Fire is just as good as well with that cannon. I think I'm going to go for Bolt either way. Um, we're going to do some ability shopping in a second as well. But there we go. Three more promotions in the bag. That was really, really nice. But Jacqueline. Jacqueline's still not up to uh, Colonel. Which is really, really weird. Because she has about the same amount of kills as Sarah and um, Emily. But for some reason still not. So she should probably not be too far off. From that uh, promotion because if you compare with, them with Marina they have the same rank now but Marina has only 29 kills yeah so really really weird might be a lot of lost in there but then of course three codex brains a superior agility PCS 253 supplies 84 alien alloys 48 alien crystals a core a scope a data pad and the corpses of everything we killed including 42 lost corpses <laughs> That is just ridiculous, but there we go. Um, in two days we get improved swords, we get more supplies, and I think, is the proving ground still busy? Yeah, it is. Um, with that amount of supplies, I'm actually wondering if we should now build the Psy Lab. The sooner we do that, the better, right? Yeah. Because I know we still have the supply drop as well, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while for me been a few days I think I still do yeah we still have the supply drop available so let's just fly to over there if I can find it there we go 641 supplies just waiting for us so that's gonna be really nice because we're gonna try and do the remaining contacts in this month if we can um, which means that we can get well we can use every bit of supplies that we're gonna get and then we get a covert action well is done Nobody got a promotion, but at least we got some cohesion between uh, Paula and Elizabeth. And we got 96 supplies, which is also good. Let's assign a new covert action. We can reduce the after project progress twice, but we can also recruit Reapers. And I think another Reaper won't hurt. 
Uh, I would have loved another skirmisher, but, well, our first female skirmisher, but we're not going to get that. So I think, ooh, gathering supplies is also really good. 120 supplies, since we're gathering supplies anyway, we should probably do that first. And since Paula and Elisabetta did, uh, Elizabeth did so nice on the last one, we're going to be doing that again. There we go. And then we also probably get... Ooh, it's probably gonna happen right now. Reinforce swords. This will prove to have been an important breakthrough. Yes, indeed, because that increases damage on swords by one. So every single sword gets a damage boost, which is really, really cool. Now we get modular vector rifles. Breakthrough successful as well. Breakthrough and configuration will allow us to add an additional weapon upgrade slot. Wait, then we have two things going at the same time then? That was a bit confusing. Uh... Well, they thought that decryption is inspired, so why not go for that? That's only two days. Because we're running out of research tasks. Uh, we're going to get rid of another trait from Heidi as well. Right now, there we go. And then we get the raid suit. Let's see. Can we make something else now? See, I'm really curious about all that experimental armor. So I'm going to go for one more of those first. That's going to limit our options. And I'm not entirely sure if I want another war suit. Our grenadiers are doing fine as they are. Um, those heavy weapons are really cool. And maybe I should get another one of those. Yeah, let's go for another experimental powered weapon. We have two spark units now, so we're going to be using those heavy weapons uh, more often as well. With and then we get the rest of the supplies, but also 42 intel from the data pad. Let's assign new research. Order, uh, we don't get anything fancy this time, so uh, let's just go for the Andromedon rack. Let's do them in order. As initially speculated by Shen, it does in fact appear that this creature is restricted to the confines of its own hulking environmental suit. Unfortunately for our troops, the suit itself is a powerful physical threat, regardless of the operator's status, as we learned with some astonishment in the field. It's still one of the more cooler uh, units in the game, just because of that fancy gimmick that it uh, gets to activate again after you kill the uh, the pilot. But uh, there we go, Andromedon Autopsy on the way. And now we finish our supply drop and get that heaping pile of supplies uh, for us. Now, we have a lot of intel um, and we have plenty of available contacts as well. First thing I want to do is build ourselves what did we get from Bomb Squad, by the way? Experimental grenade and heavy weapon projects are completed instantly in the Proving Grounds. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna need to build that uh, radio relay there first. And there we go, 350 supplies is very, very costly, but I'm gonna do this right now. Setting course for East Asia. So that's gonna allow us to make instant contact with two more regions, and that um, radio relay is also gonna increase the supplies we're gonna get next time. So we're gonna get uh, instead of diminishing returns, actually increased returns. But we get an incoming transmission before that, so we get another council mission. 299 supplies, damn son! And 109 intel, I really can use that. Operation Shadow Fist, we need to neutralize a target in an advent vehicle. Only 7 enemies, which probably means there's gonna be a catch. Uh, let's take a look. And this is gonna be our very unorthodox team for next time. So we're gonna take Sparky, Erica, Hilde, Kelly, and our new spark unit, Evie, and Heidi on the next mission. So two spark units, gonna be bringing the bangs, but uh, before that we're gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. And uh, next time we're going on Operation Shadow Fist, so thank you guys enormously for watching, I hope to see you guys in the next episode, goodbye.